Thank you everyone for joining our Google Cloud Next 2022 session on how AI infrastructure on GCP helps teams accelerate ML development with optimized performance and cost. My name is Mikhail Kreska, an outbound product manager on Vertex AI, Google Cloud's AI platform. And I'm excited to have three other guests with me here today. We have Kai from Uber, who's a senior product manager on Uber's ML platform, Michelangelo, and Joanna and Sid from Cohere, ML engineers building tools to make natural language AI capabilities accessible to all developers. We'll start with a quick intro on why AI infrastructure is important, walk through AI infrastructure services and solutions available on GCP, hear customer stories about leveraging AI infrastructure on GCP, and then wrap up with a quick summary. So let's start with why is AI infrastructure important? And the best way to start really answering this question is to give you a sneak peek into our customer stories about how they're using AI infra to accelerate development and deployment. Cohere is leveraging TPUs on GCP to innovate faster and iterate faster on large language models. Uber has integrated Vertex AI's TabNet and AutoML services into their platform to allow different teams to leverage these new algorithms. Credit Karma is leveraging Vertex AI's feature store to manage embeddings that feed into their content engagement and offer conversions engine. And finally, Arbor Biotech is leveraging AlphaFold running on Vertex AI to help their scientists predict structures of protein sequences in hours instead of months. These examples and many more cannot be done on general purpose infrastructure. This requires robust AI purpose-built AI infrastructure. In addition to these specific examples, there is a broader trend across data and AI. Data is getting bigger, it's getting multi-format, AI models are getting larger, and more developers are adopting frameworks like PyTorch, TensorFlow, the Transformers Library, and JAX, making AI research and development more accessible. So infrastructure really needs to keep up to make AI models performant and cost-effective. And having access to strong AI infrastructure is becoming a competitive advantage to getting the most value from AI. And this is also exemplified by these two quotes from IDC and Forrester. IDC shares that the lack of purpose-built AI infrastructure is now becoming one of the leading causes of AI infrastructure failing. And Forrester shares that AI infrastructure is really crucial to keep AI teams productive, to keep them experimenting, developing, and deploying rather than just waiting around for large AI tasks to complete. So now let's move into what does AI infrastructure on Google Cloud look like? And we have three pillars when thinking about this. One, flexible and scalable hardware to support diverse ML workloads. Two, manage infrastructure to allow practitioners to focus on experimenting and deploying models. And this is offered through Vertex AI, a fully managed data science ML ops platform. And number three, really easily access state-of-the-art AI with optimized infrastructure and software paired together, really looking to bridge the gap between research and applied AI, what we call research to ready. So with a focus of AI infrastructure as part of an AI strategy, the performance and cost benefits can be quite staggering. Along the bottom, we see some great results where some workloads get up to 6x cost reduction by optimizing on the right hardware. And we've seen some teams go from ideation to experimentation to production in weeks rather than months or quarters with many teams sharing stories of 80% improvement in overall velocity across the ML lifecycle. So now let's dig into some of the specific services. On the hardware side, we're excited to welcome two new AI accelerators onto GCP. First, the NVIDIA A2 Ultra GPU VM instance, this machine has twice the GPU RAM of the previous A2 mega machine, providing 80 gigabytes of GPU memory. This provides big performance gains in throughput as well as latency for use cases like deep learning recommendations and computer vision models, as well as large language models. Second, we're excited to welcome the newest generation of the Tensor Processing Unit or the TPU. This is infrastructure designed by Google specifically for machine learning with support for PyTorch, JAX, and TensorFlow. The fourth generation of TPUs scale to a super pod made up of over 4,000 chips. And each chip has big improvements in flops and flops per dollar versus the previous third generation. In addition to pure horsepower, the data center hosting the TPUs 
is operating at 90% carbon-free energy with a big focus on sustainability. So now let's move on to some of the more machine learning specific tasks. And large scale training is really one of the first ML tasks that requires purpose built AI infrastructure. Vertex AI provides a fully managed training service that eliminates the need to provision and manage clusters. Users can submit and forget jobs with the Python SDK, get out of the box queue management, access to on demand accelerators, and built in hyperparameter tuning. Moving on to the middle, Vertex also provides a new distributed training capability that works with existing frameworks like Coravad or TensorFlow's mirror strategy or PyTorch distributed. This reduction server architecture provides a new way that minimizes latency and data transfer. Benchmarks or language models have shown up to 30 to 40% reduction in training time and cost. And finally, we know many times data feeding into these accelerators can often be the bottleneck. So we're launching first class support for cloud storage and NFS file store as part of Vertex to be easily able to mount these into your on-demand training jobs. For cloud storage specifically, this allows you to use cloud storage's new auto class capability that automatically moves data to lower and colder storage classes based on access time resulting in automated cost savings. Next, we move into the serving layer with Vertex's managed prediction service. First, this is a fully managed API endpoint service. This allows users to deploy their models into auto-scaling endpoints with a wide selection of CPUs and GPUs with minimal infrastructure knowledge required. Within this, we're excited to announce two new capabilities, model co-hosting that allows you to share underlying resources across models for cost optimization, and custom prediction routines, which allows users to include pre- and post-processing Python code alongside your model binary to simplify your architecture. And then in the middle, we're also excited to introduce an optimized TensorFlow runtime only available on Vertex. This leverages model pre-compilation and smart op placement across GPUs and CPUs to drive big improvements in throughput and latency. Early benchmarks show huge improvements up to eight and six X for throughput and latency for tabular data and material improvement for BERT-based natural language models. And finally, deploying models for serving is only half the battle. Uh, Vertex provides model monitoring and explainable capabilities to ensure your models stay healthy or are retrained and redeployed as they erode. Next, AI infrastructure isn't just about training and serving machine learning models. Managing features and embeddings to feed into your ML models is non-trivial. As organizations scale both the number of models and the usage of complex unstructured data as part of these models, feature stores and vector databases can become a challenge to implement. To support this newer AI infrastructure need, Vertex AI offers a fully managed feature store and matching engine. And today we're actually excited to announce support for streaming ingestion across both these services, where you can now have new features and embeddings synchronized and updated in real time to improve the accuracy and timeliness of predictions. And both these services support a wide variety of use cases, ranging from recommendations engines, search engines, image classification, ad targeting, and much more. And finally, we don't want to stop at just providing hardware and managed infrastructure. We want to provide a path to adopting leading edge solutions coming from research and partners that can drive true business value through AI. First, we have Tabnet now available through Vertex AI's tabular workflows. This makes it easier to build accurate and explainable models on billion scale data sets with built-in interpretability. On Vertex, the Tabnet pipeline automatically selects the appropriate feature transformations, search space based on the input data, data size, prediction type, and your training budget. We'll hear a little bit more from Kai about Uber's early experience with Tabnet. Second, we have an alpha fold batch inference pipeline in Vertex AI. This allows biotech companies to embed alpha fold into their own workflows to predict protein structures at scale with optimal architecture. And third, we have a solution from our partner NVIDIA called Merlin. Merlin is an end-to-end -end framework to design and deploy custom large-scale recommender systems. We've partnered with NVIDIA to build a reference solution deployable on Vertex AI and GPUs and GCP, which includes data processing, model training, and model inference. Next, we'll jump into some great examples of enterprise teams leveraging some of these technologies. And uh, let's go ahead and start with Kai from Uber. Thank you so much, Michael. Hi, my name is Kai. I'm the product manager for Uber's internal end-to-end -end machine learning platform called Michelangelo. 
Michelangelo powers 100% of Uber's most business critical machine learning use cases, such as Rise ETA, Eats ETD, driver rider matching, and Eats home fee recommendations. Allowing our machine learning developers at Uber to focus on what they are good at, building and deploying models without worrying about the underlying infra complexities. Our strategy of building Michelangelo is based on actively evaluating and integrating industry-leading third-party components while selectively investing in key platform areas to build in-house. So we architecture Michelangelo in a modularized way so that we can easily integrate third-party tools and components in a plug-and-play fashion. When we explored the solutions for large-scale model architecture search and training, we found the Vertex AI, AutoML, and TabNet. In the past year, we've been working closely with the Vertex AI team to evaluate the performance of, of AutoML and TabNet with Uber's real-life use cases and data. The evaluation results met the POC success criteria in terms of model accuracy, training efficiency, compatibility with Michelangelo tech stack. So we've decided to integrate both tools with Michelangelo and made them available to all machine learning teams at Uber. On the other hand, along the way, to meet Uber's extensive and complex machine learning needs, we've made multiple feature requests and product improvement suggestions to Vertex AI team, which in turn improves AutoML and TabNet. One example use case is Uber Eats prep time model, which is used to estimate how long it takes a restaurant to prepare the food after order is received. This is one of the most critical models at Uber with the highest QPS, query per second. We compared the TabNet results with the baseline model and the tablet demonstrated a big lift in terms of the model performance. Overall, the POC results are promising, and we are excited to continue closely working with the GCP team to drive production adoption within Uber. With that, I pass it on to Joanna to talk about their use cases at Cohere. Thank you, Kai. Hey, everyone. I'm Joanna from Cohere. I'm very excited to present how Cohere is accelerating large language model development with Google Cloud. Cohere's mission is to unlock NLP capabilities enabled by large language models and make them accessible to all developers with just an API call. To achieve this, Cohere abstracts away the heavy lifting from the end user, including collecting and curating a large corpus of high quality data, training a pre-trained language models, and post fine tuning optimizations for low latency inference in a highly reliable environment. Here, we outline Cohere's achievements in building a scalable training, evaluation, and inference stack. Taken as a whole, this technical stack is a key competitive advantage, which has enabled Cohere to rapidly scale our models while ensuring quality, responsiveness, and safety of our end products, all of which is implemented in Google Cloud Platform. With that, I'll pass it on to Sid. Hey, I'm Sid. I'm a machine learning engineer at Cohere. I'll give a high level overview of Cohere's training framework. So Cohere has a proprietary training framework called FAX. It uses JAX and Cloud TPU v4 to train large language models. TPU v4 pods are some of the most powerful AI supercomputers in the world. A full v4 pod has 4,096 chips. In the diagram on the right, you see a few topologies of slices from the full v4 pod that are available on the Google Cloud platform and that can be used by FAX to train these large language models. Again, Cohere uses FAX to train our baseline models as well as custom models that are trained on customer datasets using the fine tuning feature on the Cohere platform. FAX's job is to consume billions of tokens and train models as small as hundreds of millions to as large as hundreds of billions of parameters. Coming to some concrete benchmarks, in the middle we see pipeline parallelism, which was the old way of training large language models at Cohere. With FAX, the scaling in the plot is represented by tensor parallelism. So for a fixed number of tokens, the tensor parallelism method of training large language models scales much better. And on the right, we see that with using 512 v4 cores, the maximum model size we can schedule is 340 billion parameters. And at a minimum batch size, the step time is 6.21 seconds. This enables us to train large language models very fast and bring those improvements to customers right away. Thanks for having us, uh, Mikhail. I'll pass it off to you. Great, yeah, great to hear those stories from both Uber and Cohere, really pushing the boundaries of AI and really leveraging the AI infrastructure services on GCP. I also wanted to end this with actually two quick stories from two other customers. 
Uh, first is with Credit Karma. Uh, for those not familiar, Credit Karma is a multinational personal finance company that continues to innovate to provide more personalized products and services. And they have a mission to make financial progress possible to everyone. One of their use cases is to better recommend financial content and financial offers for their members. Their approach was to generate embeddings from financial content and mix those with features from offers based on user cohorts to improve their input features for the recommendation system. The diagram on the bottom left gives you a quick system overview of how this architecture works. We have financial content on the left where they used a pre-trained sentence encoder model to extract embeddings. On the right, they also bring in features from financial offers. They bring both these different domains into Vertex's feature store that are then leveraged for training and serving their recommendation engine. And this really had two benefits highlighted on the right side with a few of their quotes. One is really for the internal Credit Karma machine learning platform team. Shout out to Debashis Das, who's been working with us. Um, his team can now launch richer and faster features up to 3x faster. And second is, of course, the user experience, the consumer customer experience. And using A-B testing, they've seen significant increase in content engagement and offer conversion. Next, we have a customer, Arbor Bio, leveraging DeepMind's AlphaFold solution on Vertex AI. Arbor Bio is a biotech company based in Massachusetts, discovering and developing the next generation of genetic medicine. Arbor Bio is really developing an extensive toolbox of proprietary gene editors using both high throughput data screening as well as AI. And why do they really look at Google Cloud and GCP? Number one, they really look to augment their toolkit and processes with DeepMind's AlphaFold model. And they really wanted to inject the capability to predict structures of proprietary protein sequences in a scalable, robust, and cost-effective way. Now, Arbor Bio's data-driven and AI-based approach really has a lot of high variability of hardware needs across CPUs and GPUs. And this was a great use case for GCP and Vertex AI's managed infrastructure. And really the impact you can see with the quote in the bottom right is that Arbor Bio scientists are able to increase their productivity and generate actionable insights in hours instead of months. So let's go ahead and, and, and end with a summary. Um, you know, to summarize, we truly believe that to drive the most value from AI, AI infrastructure now needs to be at the core of your AI strategy. We covered three pillars of AI infra on GCP, flexible and scalable hardware, managed infrastructure on Vertex AI, and accessible state-of-the-art AI solutions. And you can see we can continue to invest heavily in each of these with lots of new capabilities and launches rolling out. And finally, again, we're super thankful for our customers and partners leveraging these services, providing us feedback to continue to improve these, and sharing their stories with the broader industry so we can all learn from each other. So thank you so much for joining us today. Please enjoy the rest of Google Cloud Next and have a great day.